Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the September 10th weekly love reading. This is for the sign of Pisces. We will see what comes up. It's intended to be a love reading, but we shall see. This may or may not resonate because I can't read everybody. It's just the way it is. It, may, it will resonate with some and not all. If you like it, you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notifications, you hit the bell. If you'd like to book a private reading, the information is below. I did pre-shuffle these three times with the bridge. I'm not doing reversed. I do know how to do reversed. I don't need to do reversed. My messages come from within. The cards are just a tool. You know, I gotta bring that up a little bit. I'm sorry. Alright, so the first card up there is the Hermit. That's about going within a time of introspection. Um, <laughs> stillness, you, where you step back and you focus on your inner being and your, you do a little bit of soul searching. So that's the very first card. Um, and it's also the sign of Virgo. And I think that you've been preparing for something. I think something's been growing in the distance and you've just been waiting for it to come to fruition. We have the Wheel of Fortune next. That's about a new phase. All right, it's really good. It's good luck on the horizon. It's a new phase of your life. But then we have these inner conflicts, all right? Then we have the world card. So I think you you might be a little scared of the next step, in, the next step, okay, the next chapter. There's a little bit of fear, and I'm not, and, and I think it's a hidden fear for sure because I think you present yourself as very strong um, and emotionally, emotionally balanced, but I think there is a fear deep down inside about the next phase of your life all right i think that you're excited about it i think that you know there's an there's a new opportunity right ahead of you and it is time it's time for a change a major life change you have been just waiting for it you've been waiting for the perfect time to do something big okay and I, it could have something to do with money you know i'm trying to get love out of this but you know, right now, I, I mean, don't, I really don't, there's no cups other than this one. And this one right here is the Seven of Cups, and I think it's come up from most of the signs this month. Not all, but most. This card says, be careful. Hold on a minute. Be careful. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. Be careful what you own, because what you own owns you. Okay, so step back and really, really think before you jump. What would the consequences be? Okay, because I th see that you get very excited about things and you take action. You're not the kind that just sits back and, and waits for things to happen. I think you make things happen. Um, I think that you have, you're very wise, okay? You have learned a lot. And I think, I mean, this is a nine. You have learned a lot. You have, you do, you have a, a lot of uh, battles or um, scars or life experience behind you. Okay? You do to back you up in whatever decisions that you make. All right? And I don't think that you wear your emotions on your sleeve. Um... <clears throat> I think that you have been worried about something, that's for darn sure. And it could be finances. You could, I mean, where is the love in this reading? Damn it. 
I, you know, I think that you might be focusing on finances in the next chapter of your life is seriously focused on, you know, your pentacles here and a pentacles right in the middle of this wheel, the spin of your, of your foundation financially. I think that this week you're focusing on your career or your financial foundation. You know, you're focusing on your responsibilities. Right now, your burdens are big regarding your employment, all right, or bills or something. I mean, and I think that you're worried about something. You're worried about your future finances. <laughs> and, you know, I'm looking for a love reading here, but I see that, you know, you're, again, look at there's finances up here, the pentacles up here. I mean, you're stuck in this situation where, you know, building your foundation financially and taking care of yourself is, is very, very, very important. More so this week than emotional stuff. You have a new beginning right ahead of you, okay? You've learned something big with the world card and the wheel of fortune. Something very, very good, all right? Very stable, secure, abundant, all right? It's unbelievable. It really has. I mean, it really has. It really is. Um, yeah, I see, I see that you're just very concentrated on work this week. And, and your life experiences play a part. We have the Empress right down here. It's a very fertile period. Okay? If you're a woman, I mean, it's it's a fertile period as far as getting pregnant goes. But it's also a fertile period as far as starting anything new. Anything. Okay? Anything creative. Anything you've got going on in your head <coughs> it's, is growing. Okay, and you you have dreams of growing it so big. Okay, so that's what this that's why the Empress is here. It's just saying that it's a very fertile week. I think you have a lot of stuff, a lot of future plans regarding your finances, and right now you're working on that. I'm trying to get some love here. This is supposed to be a love reading right now. Maybe it's a love for your job. <laughs> you know. Or your home, or your business, or for yourself. I don't know. I don't see another person, though. I mean, there's lots of different signs here, but I don't see, you know, I don't see that this is a week of, like, finding new love, or really concentrated on lovey-dovey, any of that. No, no, that's not here. Yeah, you're not focusing on love. That's all there is to it. It's love is not at the forefront this week. You are focused on foundations. And I'm talking about uh, material foundations. You know, it could be your home, could be your career, could be, you know, anything that builds your stability and your security for the future. That's what you're focused on. You just don't have time for any bullshit. That's all there is to it. You don't have any time for any bullshit. And should some, somebody try to get in your way, you know, they could get um, a mouthful. Okay, they could get a mouthful. Um, you're excited for the future. You see growth. You see this fertile period, and that's what you're focusing on. You're feeling insecure about money, but you don't need to because your mind is set on it. And when your mind gets set on it, you don't give up. This is also about winners don't quit. You do not quit, and you're right here. You don't plan on quitting. But be careful. What you own owns you. If you buy something, you know, it might be too more, more than you really thought you wanted. And the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I mean, there's no people here. I mean, yeah. I mean, you might, if you're focusing on that, I mean, be careful. That might be all you end up with. The same. 
<laughs> Sadness. You know, that's what this is. That's sadness. But it's starting to heal. Okay, so maybe that's why you're buried in your work. Because you just really don't have time for heartache right now. All you want is peace. And you're reaching it. I think you've reached a very peaceful time and you just want to keep it that way. And I think you're just focusing on your finances. That's what I think. I don't think this is a lovey-dovey week about love. I think this is a week about building your foundation. We're going to get these Romance Angel cards and see if we can get some love here. If we're going to, it would be now in these cards. There should be some love coming up. I mean, most, the majority of these cards are about love. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Absolutely. You're working on you. You're working on your job. You're working on your future. Your foundation. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. <laughs> and that's, that's it right there. Maybe you don't trust people and your heart is just barely being healed from something else. Barely, barely starting to be healed. So you're like, you know what, I just don't do this right now. I, you know, I don't, I don't really trust right now anyway. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. If you're with somebody right now, perhaps they're begging for you to give them some attention. soulmate yes this is your soulmate so if you have somebody in mind if you're with somebody now there's your answer children maybe you want somebody but they you know there's children in the way and the children can be in the way in so many ways. You know, it could be their children, it could be your children. It, who knows? It could be they want children, you don't want children. There's so many different ways that children can be in the way. And you know what? You're just like, you don't want to deal with that either. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe you just don't want to deal with any of it. <laughs> and this could be the fear I was talking about earlier, way at the beginning of the reading, that you're scared you have this this hidden fear because you're afraid to get your heart broke so you might as well just bury yourself and work and build that foundation because you know you're in control of that one express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture that's good advice with somebody that could be your soulmate whoever's coming to your mind when I say soulmate that's probably like uh, 90% chance you're right or more I mean, you're very intuitive. You are. You're a very intuitive sign. You know. You know who's coming to mind when I say soulmate. Somebody came to your mind. And if they didn't, it's because you're not, you're not looking for them right now. At all. In any way. If you are with somebody and you have been burying yourself in work, this is saying that you need to show that person some love. Give it a chance. Maybe the children miss you too. I mean, like I said, there's all kinds of different scenarios. This is, this is for thousands of people. So this is what I have, Pisces, for the 4th through the 10th. Um, I will talk to you next week.